Hey, good afternoon everybody. It's KB5MIQ Big Boy. Well, sad day for ham radio. By now, which is everybody knows that the MFJ is closing their doors. Um, you know, it's kind of, it, it's sad. I, I, I really hope Mr. Martin gets to enjoy his retirement a long time. And it's sad, but they couldn't keep the companies going. You know, you're going to lose MFJ, Cushcraft, High Gain, Amatron right at the moment. Somebody, I'm sure, will come in and try to keep those brands going, but we don't know that for a fact. Uh, MFJ has been such a staple in ham radio all of my career in ham radio for 52 years, you know. They uh, they made the uh, they made all kinds of accessories for ham radio. You know, I remember one of the things they were really known for was coming in and making some affordable manual tuners back in the day. Uh, I know a lot of people have, of course, ham radio operators are going to be opinionated about gear. And a lot of people have referred to them as some derogatory names and said their stuff wasn't as good. But I've had it. In my shack since I've been a ham. It's always been some piece of MFJ gear in my shack. Right now I think I've got five MFJ antennas up. Uh, the two element Moxon for 10 meters I got is absolutely one of the best antennas I've ever used in my life on 10 meters. Ground wave and skip. So their stuff has always had a place in ham radio. It really has. And it goes to show that you can make a reasonably priced product and do good with it. Come on, Ham Radio Cat. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I do this channel for new hams and hams on a budget. Like I've been on a budget all my life. Uh, my main background is in uh, sporting goods related items, hunting gear, shooting gear, fishing gear. And, you know, there's always been what I call a utilitarian grade firearms companies out there that have just stayed right in there with it and made, made good products. Same way with MFJ. They made a decent product at a decent price a long time, and they're definitely going to be missed. Um, it goes to show, you go to a ham fest, and a big tailgate sale and you go through and look at all the old gear that was popular that hung in there a long time and finally for whatever reason technology or in their case like in mr martin's case the people running the company wanted to retire or whatever that is gone now and now we've added mfj to the list i'm, I'm proud he's getting to retire i hate to see the company go and I don't want anybody to think I hate to see the company go just because I've, for the last year, I've got the opportunity to do review videos. Not that reason at all. The company has been a big supporter of Amateur Radio for its whole career, and that's the reason I hate to see them go. I'd like to, <coughs> excuse me, thank them for the opportunity to work with them. I hope the review videos I did help. I know you. You give a small, very small YouTuber a chance to do that. And I want you to know I'll, I'll never forget it. And I'll always appreciate the fact that y'all give me a chance to do that. Uh, who knows what will happen for all those brands. Uh, and all the brands have been around a long time. Cushcraft, High Gain, you know, Amatron. Those other brands are all following the MFJ umbrella. I don't know. 
hopefully something keep them going. I know they're officially shutting their doors, I believe May 17th, but they're going to continue to sell until they sell out a product. And they will still honor the, warrant, honor the warranties for, for a period of time, I'm sure, for at least until their last product warranty runs out. But again, I hate to see them go. I really do. That's They've been a definite asset to amateur radio. And it's just one of them, you know, it's just a sad day for amateur, for amateur radio. As simple as that. Uh, thanks again to Mr. Martin for everything you've done. And uh, I don't know what else I can really say about it. It's, uh, they're going to be missed. Their equipment's going to be missed. And Ham Radios took a hit for losing, for us losing MFJ. It's KB5 MIQ, people, said three.